comfortable and you're able to articulate these muscles now, we're ready to go on to the next, the next part, which is creating a swing in the pelvis. So with your knees slightly bent, what you're going to do is you're going to use the muscles here in your pelvic girdle and you're just going to swing forward and swing back. Swing forward and swing back. So starting from a standing position, you're going to swing your pelvis out in front of your rib cage. So your rib cage is here. You're going to swing that pelvis forward and so that your pelvis is now forward of your rib cage, And then you're going to swing back. So now that your pelvis is back behind your rib cage, if you made a line straight from top to bottom. So once again, we're going to swing forward and swing back. And swing forward and swing back. Now, as you swing forward, you're going to allow your knees to bend. So as you're swinging forward, simultaneously, you're bending your knees and you're kind of sitting into that swing. Sit. And as you swing back, you straighten the knees and you stand up. Sit. And stand up. Sit. And stand up. Sit and stand up or bend as you swing forward and straighten the knees as you swing back. Bend the knees as you swing forward, straighten as you swing back. Bend the knees as you swing forward and straighten as you swing back. Now this one is always, a, well, generally speaking, a lot easier for people to master. So, but again, once again, if you're having problems with it, just take it slow and just take it slow and keep repeating it until you've mastered it. So now if you've got those two parts together, now it's time to put the two pieces together. So what we're going to do first is we're going to swing forward. And now you see, as we swing forward, what happens automatically is that the upper body falls back, right? So now in this position, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to relax and let the diaphragm collapse. And as we're doing that, once again, we're letting the knees relax with it. Now, in this relaxed position, we're going to take the hips and swing back behind us. And now that you're back there, we're going to come from the diaphragm again. We're going to lift up. And as we're lifting up, we're straightening the knees again. So we're straightening our posture. We're straightening ourselves out this way as we stand up. So here we go again. We swing forward and collapse. And now we're going to swing back and straighten ourselves up. Swing forward and collapse. Swing back and straighten out. Swing forward and collapse. Swing back and straighten up. Swing forward and collapse. Swing back and straighten up. So let's put a count to this. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. 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 Another way to approach this is um, approaching it from strictly using the muscles here in the torso. So let me show you that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all these muscles nice and relaxed. 
and I'm going to swing forward. As I swing forward, I'm bending my knees, and now I'm going to pull in, sweep back, and stand up. Sweep forward and sit, collapse, and pull back. So, way that I explained it a lot of times is imagine that you have a chain, a ball, attached to your diaphragm, right? And on the end of uh, that chain is a ball, and you're sweeping that ball out, you're bending your knees, and you're pulling that ball in towards you, and you're standing up. Sweep forward and push the ball out, sweep back and pull it in towards you. Sweep the ball out, dip your knees, pull the ball back in. Stand up and sweep the ball out, dip, pull the ball in. Straighten out, dip, pull the ball in. Straighten out, send the ball out, dip your knees, pull the ball in. So once again, you're going to keep repeating these motions over and over again until your body becomes nice and relaxed and you can smooth it out. So, once again, with everything, basic recap. A lot of times we hold tension in this part of our body and if that's the case with you, it will only require a little bit of conscious effort to get rid of that tension in your core area. You can use breathing exercises to help you do it. Inhaling and placing your hand on your diaphragm. Exhale and feel all of that air releasing from your diaphragm as it collapses. Also remember that we all have a different body shape different body type and that's going to dictate how the movement looks on your particular body but once you are relaxed no matter what your body type is no matter what your shape is you're going to find that you have a nice wave being created in the torso as you do this movement so this is one of the technically one of the more advanced movements so if you're being challenged with it, don't, you know, don't be discouraged. Once again, take your time and just keep on working and you'll see that before you know it, you'll have success. So once again, thank you for sharing this time with me and I'll see you next time for another mini lesson. Bye-bye.